This is Lab 4 Cousteau Optics. Okay, it's a crystal um, vibrates with the electric field induced onto it, causing the laser beam to diffract. So we know that the more it vibrates, the more our beam is going to diffract. And along with this information, if we know the frag angle, we are able to determine what kind of composition the crystal is made out of. Okay. One of the important concepts in part C was that okay. the ampl amplitude modulation of the frequency changes the mode spacing. And we can see the modulation when it's on the O-scope uh, until about 60 hertz, which is the limit of our eyes. The system sent information to the AO modulator, which causes the laser to diffract based on that signal. And by connecting the detector to the TV, we were seeing the modulation be displayed on the TV. This is an example of optical switching since we're only looking at one of the modes. So we're learning about acousto optics and how it works, um, as well as how to characterize it. Since the system can be used for optical switching, we're also going to learn about optical, optical communications, um, which can connect our experiments to an application. With the TV setup, what we're doing is we're learning about optical communications because we're, what we're doing is we're getting an electrical signal from the camera and it's being set into the AO modulator. And what that's doing is it's causing an electrical signal on the current on the crystal, which is causing modulation in the beam, which whenever it's detected on the spot size, it's then displayed on the TV, which that's useful to know because that is entailed in how almost all data communication is done these days. For our part B, in terms of diffraction efficiency, the alignment is everything for the AO modulator. We learned that even the slightest change in alignment can change everything in your diffraction orders that you're observing. But the most significant re result that we got for part C is that the, we got the video transmission when we were able to match the modulation of the crystal to that of the TV. Results of our alignment were expected to have a large effect since we were working with a small crystal and it's acting as our diffraction grating. And since we know that our diffraction grating and angle relation is inversely proportional as we have uh, more diffraction gratings in place or a higher frequency of them, we should see a higher angle of diffraction. We didn't really like how the directions were worded in part B. Um, we spent probably um, a good chunk of the time of our lab trying to determine what they meant. Also, the alignment issue with the crystal was um, giving us skewed data where our angles weren't exactly matching up. So the TV thing was cool. That's about it. <laughs>